I was born in Tardis Towers. Uh, my, uh, I'm a descendant of the Kuntula people, the traditional custodians of the land around the Tardis Towers area. Uh, my family on my father's side had a strong connection to service. My uncle served in World War I and II. Another uncle, uh, Uncle Bill, also served in World War II. My auntie served in the Women's Land Army, which was a, a real plus for, for Aboriginal women. I am Uncle Harry Alley. I have been appointed by the Chief of Air Force as the Indigenous Air Force Elder. After serving 23 and a half years, I retired from the Air Force as a warrant officer. I always stood on the fence at the Air Force Base where we knew it was go, looking at planes taking off and landing, and that just uh, sort of built the desire for me to join the Air Force. As at Wagga, I did my equipment assistant course, it was number 60. The great joy of graduating and the recruit course, marching out and that early mateship of the strong helped the weak and the weak helped the strong and uh, it made me so proud and happy. I was selected to uh, join the F-111 ferry crew to uh, go to, uh, uh, to Sacramento in the States to get ready for the first a lot of ferries to come back to Australia and I was the, uh, the logistic support for the team and that was very uh, wide opening for the experience for me the, who had never been overseas before. If you look back over the hundred years that Air Force has come, it has certainly been at the forefront of moving forward from aircraft, equipment, to, to personnel and to, with the changes and to move with the general thinking of the wider population and not only our Australian population but the world's eyes that are upon us.